Today's lesson is going to be how to make this cute baby booty. Isn't it adorable? Look at it. It's so tiny too. Look. And see how long my fingers are. This pattern was designed by Catwood of Victoria, Australia. A fellow friend of mine and fellow crocheter here on the Facebook channels. You might know her from around um, the crochet crowd or Bob Wilson's Facebook page. This pattern is just so cute. Look at it, it's got a little ribbed cuff that you can turn up. Oops, I haven't sewn my ends in. Flip it over to the nice side. There we go. You know, you've got a nice ribbed bit at the top there, a little sock. Or you can fold it down if you want to as well. So a huge, huge thank you to Kat for making this adorable, adorable pattern. It is quite easy, so as long as you know your basic stitches, you can follow along with me. And we follow along with Kat's pattern, which is fantastically written, has lots of great photos as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to rate and subscribe as there will be more videos coming up. And just quietly, I think there more might be more patterns from Cat too. Fingers crossed. So enjoy the video. Please join our Facebook page. Just search for Bob Wilson123. And if you don't have Facebook, you can email me a photo at the email address located in the description box. And I can put them into a video to share with everybody else on YouTube. First of all, we want to go and print off the wonderful pattern. This pattern is by Catwood from Victoria, Australia, and it was designed and written up on Thursday, May 19th, 2011. And this booty pattern actually matches the one piece wonder sweater. So that is absolutely fabulous. We can make a little matching set. So let's just have a quick read over our instructions. Now it's for an experienced beginner, so you need to know the basics of how to crochet to do this pattern. It's going to be able to fit a newborn, and the hook size we need is a 3mm, and yarn we need is approximately 8 ply. Going to need about 20 grams, so we don't need very much at all. So, this is going to be perfect for using up scraps or leftover yarn that you had from your sweater. This pattern uses US terms, and the approximate time to make it is about two hours, so it's a quick and easy project. You're going to need about medium tension, and the stitches that we're going to use in the patterns is single crochet, back loop single crochet, a back loop double crochet, and on her blog, it has a great link here to go and see how to do these stitches. Front post double crochets and back post double crochets. So introduction. The booty is worked in one piece, beginning at the top of the cuff. So it's here. Down one side of the leg, heel and foot part, which is here. And then the other side of the leg part and up to the top of the cuff. So it's worked in one piece starting at the bottom and working your way up. The cuff has a simple rib look by using the back post double crochets and front post double crochet stitches and they are fantastic for giving you that ribbed pattern. In our special notes, the turning chain 3 is the first stitch of every row. So don't break off your yarn until the final row, leaving yourself a long enough tail of yarn to sew up your booties. So let's get started. When I work with patterns I have my pattern and then I have just a plain bit of paper with a paper clip or a little clip of some description. And what I do is just so I know where I'm up to, I pin the piece of paper to the pattern. So to begin we're going to chain 11. So I'm going to pin that in place. Here we go. So now I know which row I am up to. You may need a tighter paper clip so it doesn't slip around. This isn't very tight, so but it'll do for now. So begin, we want to chain 11. So grabbing your yarn, 
and your hook, let's get started. So starting with your slip knot in any way that you make yours, we want to chain 11. And I'm sure we know how to do that. Yarning over, pulling through, yarning over, pulling through for 11. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So row 1, we want to work one double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and in each chain across. That will give us 9 stitches and then we want to chain 3 and turn. The turning chain 3 is the first stitch of every row. So first of all we want to work one double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So we do not count the loop that is on our hook, we never count a loop that's on our hook. Here is our first one, so that's one, two, three, and four. So one, two, three, and four. And we are going to double crochet into that fourth chain. So we're yarning over, going into that fourth chain, yarning over and pulling up a loop, yarning over pulling through two loops and yarning over pulling through two. So in our pattern it said one double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and in each chain across that will give us a total of nine stitches. So in each chain we have down the bottom here we're going to work one double crochet. So it's yarning over going into the stitch Yarning over, pulling up a loop. We have two on our hook, uh, three on our hook. Yarning over, pulling through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So going into each chain stitch, you want to work one double crochet. So we should have nine stitches. Make sure you do. So looking at your work, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this little bit here is number 9. So that's correct. You now want to chain 3 and turn. And the, turn, the turning chain 3 is always the first stitch of every row. So do your chain 3 and turn. So chain 3, so it's 1, 2 and 3. And then you turn your work around. And we work it down the other side. So row two is the ribbing section. So this part is actually the ribbing cuff on the start of our booty. So row two we want to work one back post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. Work one front post double crochet around the post of the next num of the next double crochet. Work one back post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. Repeat from star to star. So just here let me get my pointy thing. Just here there is a star and the next one is there. So repeating from star to star is going back to where the star is working that part of the pattern up to the star and you want to repeat it to the last double crochet so you repeat this part of the pattern until you get to the last double crochet you might have to do it a couple of times work one double crochet into the top of the chaining three you'll have nine stitches chain three and turn so first of all we want to do the first part so row two, work one back post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet. So here we go. Back post double crochet means that we go around the back of our stitches, around the back of the post. So this is our stitch and it's also called our post. So yarning over, you want to go around the back. So I'm going around the back with my hook, 
going in between the stitches so my hook's coming out next to the stitch here going around the stitch going into the next gap Let's see that again there's your stitch you're going over with the hook into the next gap and then grabbing our yarn pulling up a loop and we're actually pulling it through yarning over pulling through two and then through two so what you've done you've worked your stitch around the post it's around the back post because we went around the back so the next part of our pattern says so we've just done the one back post double crochet around so the next bit says one front double crochet so we want to work around the front around the post of the next double crochet and then work one back post so what it's doing is alternate alternating sorry between the front post and a back post and what that creates is a rib pattern so our next one is a front post so going back so we're going to work around the so we've worked this stitch here because this stitch up here was coming around that one so our next one is the third one and it has to be a front post because this one was a back post so yarning over going around the front of your work going into the stitch into the gap between the stitches there so we're going into the front poking out the back and we're going around the stitch with our hook so this stitch should be in front of our hook see so that's a front post so yarning over pulling your yarn through you've got three on your hook and then we just complete the stitches normal so get, pull it through two and through two so now it's at the front see how the stitches at the front there making this pop out so going back to our pattern we've done one front post around the post of the next DC or double crochet so we want to work one back post around the post of the next double crochet so we're doing a back post so that means it's got back so we go to the back so we always yarn over first and we go to the back so I'm putting my hook around the back of my work and we've worked this stitch so the next one we want to concentrate on is this one so I've yarned over and I'm going to go around the back put my hook in next to the stitch go over the stitch come out the other side yarn over pull that loop all the way through you have three there on your hook yarn over pull through two and through two and that was our back see because now the stitch is at the back so go back to your pattern again we're going to work this pattern step by step so that we can learn how to read patterns even if you've never done it before so we just did a one back post double crochet around the post so now repeat from star to star so remember what I said we need to go back to the star and work work, work one front post and then one back post and you repeat that until we get to our last double crochet so let's go so that was a back post so that means we're alternating so the next one must be a front post so yarning over going in from the front next to our stitch yarning over sorry guys start that again yarn over go in next to the stitch from the front out the other side now we yarn over pull through our loop and then complete as normal so yarn over through two and through two the next one is a back post because we just did our front so yarning over going around the back over the stitch 
pulling up a loop through two and through two. Next one is around the front because we're alternating our stitches. Next one is around the back. So on our pattern it said repeat from star to star to the last double crochet. So now we should have one stitch left because we've worked that one. So this is our one stitch. So we've repeated from star to star to the last double crochet. So we leave this last double crochet because now we want to work one double crochet into the top of the chain three. Should have nine stitches and then we chain three and turn. So on this very last stitch we work into the top of the chain three. So yarning over and going into the top of the chain three. If you don't know where it is, go to the bottom, count up three, and you're crocheting into the third one. So just work the double crochet as normal. Now we've got this ribbed pattern. Hopefully you can see it better on your work than you can on the camera. And the next part was chain three and turn. And you should have nine stitches if we've done it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And as we go along in the pattern, my pictures are a little bit smaller. So if you want to get the, the full size picture, go to um, the, the link that I've gave you for the pattern. And it's given you fabulous photos. So it's showing you what row one should look like what row two should look like which is really really good because if you don't have a video to go along with you can see what it is going to look like by looking at the photos and they're fantastic photos as well so the next part of our pattern we're up to row three and we want to work one double crochet into the back loop of each double crochet across work one double crochet into the top of the chain three you should have nine stitches chain three and turn so work one double crochet into the back loop of each double crochet across so this is an easy row so going back to your work and we're working into the back loop only so normally when we work our stitch, we go into the front of the stitch there and we go under two loops, one and two. But when we work the back loop, when we look at the top of our work here, we've got this V. See the V there? And what we want to do, this is our front loop here, the part of the V that's closest to us. We want to go into the back part, which is this loop here. So if you turn it that way, it's the V that's on the left, or the one that's at the back. So we're working a double crochet into the back loop of each stitch. We're going into the back loop. So don't forget this first chain three, from, or the stitch from our previous row, counts as our first stitch. So this chain three is our first stitch. So our next stitch, as we yarn over, our next stitch is here. So there's the first one, but the chain three counts as our first. So we're going into there, but we're actually going to go in the back loop only. So turning it to the top, going into the back loop, working your double crochet as usual. And we're doing that all the way across. So going into the back loop again, just the back loop, working your stitches normal. And we want to do this all the way across until we get to the end.
And then we've got our last stitch here, which is the chain 3 from the previous row. And you want to work one double crochet into the top of the chain 3. So going back to your pattern, I'll show you where it says that. So we just did one double crochet in the back loop of each stitch across. Work one double crochet into the top of the chain 3. You should have 9 stitches, chain 3 and turn. So going back to here. Here's our chain three from the previous row. You want to count up three, so one, two, and three, and you're double crocheting into that one. And you want to make sure you go through two loops because it gives it a nice solid edge. So we should have nine stitches, hopefully. Fingers crossed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Woohoo! I hope you got yours too. So now we want to chain three and turn. I think we can handle that. That's pretty simple. One, two, and three. Turn your work around. Going back to our pattern here. So up to rows four and five. And all we're going to do is repeat row three. So it's just working into the back loops only. And then at the end of row 5, we want to chain 7 instead of chain 3. So go back. So row 4 and 5, repeat row 3. So go back to row 3 and repeat this twice. So because you, you want to go row 4 is once, row 4, well, row 5 is twice. So work two more rows of one double crochet in the back loop of each stitch across and then the work the one double crochet into the top of the chain three. So looking here, we're just going to repeat that last row. So going into the second stitch, because our first stitch is our chain three, working into the back loops only. We want to do this row twice. Getting that last chain there is sometimes a little bit tricky. I don't know anybody else, but I just always have not trouble, just it's not easy like the rest. Sometimes you've got to argue with it. Especially when you're filming. There we go. So you want to repeat that row one more time. So you should have something looking like this. We have the two rows of the ribbing here, which looks absolutely beautiful. And then a couple of rows of crocheting there, just plain crocheting. So going back to our pattern, rows four and five, we did the repeat the row of three. So we've done our two rows, but then at the end of the row five, we want to chain seven instead of chaining three. So going to our work here, you're going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yep, yeah, that's right. And then we're on to our foot part because we've done our chain seven. So our foot part is work one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Work one double crochet in the next five chains, work one double crochet in the back loop of the next eight double crochets, work one double crochet in the top of the chain three, chain three in turn you'll have one single crochet, 14 doubles and 15 stitches in total. Now this pattern is fantastic because at the end of the rows it's telling us what we should have. So you don't have to actually work it out, you just need to count your stitches. First of all, work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So going to our work, we don't count the hook, the loop that's on our hook. This is our first chain, and this is our second one here. 
and we're working one single crochet into that second chain. So that's going into the stitch, yarning over and pulling up a loop, and yarning over and pulling through two. That's your first single crochet. The next part says work one double crochet in the next five chains. So yarning over, you want to do one double crochet in the next five, so that's one. Two, three, four, and five. And the next part says work one double crochet in the back loop of the next eight double crochets. Oops, one's twisted around there, there we go. So we've done that one, so our next stitch is here, and you're going to work in the back loops across all those stitches. So we're going into the back loops only, remember, because we're continuing on with our theme that was on there, which was our back loops only. So just working our double crochets in the back loop only until we get to the end of the row and then it says work one double crochet in the top of the chain three so the chain three was our last stitch that we have on the end of this row so we're just going to work across and here's our last stitch here but we're not going to work in the back loops of our last one we're going to yarn over and go through both loops we want a nice firm edge on the side there, we don't want it all yucky. So you should have something that looks like this. And if we look at the picture, it looks the same. Well it should. Yep, long bit with a little pointy finger. Or a funny looking gun. So when we get to the end, we chain three in turn. We should have one single crochet, 14 doubles. So let's just make sure. So one single is this little tiny stitch on the end. So it's one. And we should have 14 doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeehaw. And I've done it right. And hopefully you have too. So go back to our pattern. We need to do our chain three and turn, and then we're on to row seven. Work one double crochet in the back loop of the next thirteen double crochets. Work one single crochet in the back loop of the last single crochet, chain one and turn. First of all, let's work one double crochet in the back loop of the next 13 doubles. So do your chain 3 and turn your work. So the next 13 stitches is going to take us all the way up to the end here and then we're going to do one single crochet in that last single crochet on the row below. <coughs> Excuse me. So yarning over going into the back loop only on this row again working one double crochet all the way across and then stopping on that last stitch because we need to work a single crochet so now we've got that last stitch left so we need to oh, I swear I'm up to in the pattern. Let's grab it and have a look, huh? There's a blooper video for you. I've had a 
brain fart. So we did one double crochet in the back loop of the next 13 double crochets. Tick that box. Now we want to work one single crochet into the back loop of the last single crochet. Chain one and turn. Now we sorted. So our last stitch here is our single crochet from the previous row. So working into the back loop of that stitch, we want to work a single crochet. Chain one and turn it around. I like leaving bloopers in video sometimes because hopefully you guys get a laugh out of it. I'm working my mistakes. So our next row is row 8. One single crochet in the back loop of the next single crochet and then work one double crochet in the back loop of the next 13. Work one double crochet in the, in the top of the chain 3, chain 1 and turn. So we want to work one single crochet into the back loop of the next single crochet and work one double crochet in the back loop of the next 13 so there we go going into that tiny little stitch there we want to work a stitch and we don't normally work a stitch in our first stitch but with the chain one I think you do need to put a stitch in there, it just doesn't seem to show up as much as the chain three. So this will give it a nice firm edge. So working a double crochet into all the stitches along this row, all the way till we get to the end. And then when we get to the end on our last stitch, we want to work one double crochet into the chain three from the previous row. So you're still working in your back loops only, and I'll catch up with you. So the next stitch is your double crochet into the chain three on the previous row. Remember, just going through both loops to get that nice firm edge. So the next part of our pattern. I'll change the page and it says middle of the sole which is row 9 work one single crochet in the back loop of each of blah, 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 blah. start again see another blooper We're going good work one single crochet in the back loop of each stitch across chain one and turn well that's pretty easy isn't it so let's do that one single crochet in the back loop of each stitch. So we want to chain one, I think we do. Yep, chain one, turn around. Back loops only on this row again. And we'll have 15 stitches. So let's just work the single crochet into the first stitch there. Now I know we don't normally do that, like I said before, but I think this is going to give you a nice firm edge to sew into, and it's not going to leave a big gap like sometimes it does. So back loops only, work in your single crochet, all the way to the end. So don't forget your last stitch there, back loop, chain one and turn, and we want to go back to our pattern, and yours should look like this, like an upside down stocking, or baby booty, because we've done that part, and now we're going to work the other side. So the foot part we're going to work one single crochet into the back loop of the next single crochet work one double in the neck in the back loop of the next 14 chain three turn and that will give you one single 14 doubles which equals 15 in total so let's do that first part 
one single in the back loop of the next single. We can handle that, can't we, guys? So, going into a back loop of our next stitch, working one. And then one double crochet, so that's yarning over and going into our stitch, working into our back loop still. There we go. So we're just mirror imaging what we did on this first part. We're just working our way across back loops only, working double crochets, and do this all the way to the end. Don't forget to work into that last stitch, otherwise, your work is going to go crooked. And we don't want that, do we? No, no, no. Okay, going back to our pattern. So we just did one double crochet in the back loop for the next 14 singles. So now we want to chain 3 and turn and just make sure you have 14 sorry 15 stitches in total. So chaining up 3 1, 2 and 3 and then checking your stitches. 